The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd is one who lays down his life for his sheep. The hired man, since he is not the shepherd, and the sheep do not belong to him, abandons the sheep and runs away as soon as he sees a wolf coming. And then the wolf attacks and scatters the sheep. This is because he is only a hired man and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for my sheep. And there are other sheep I have that are not of this fold, and these I have, lead, I have to lead as well. They too will listen to my voice, and there will be only one flock and one shepherd. The Father loves me because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me. I lay it down from, of my own free will, and as it is in my power to lay it down, it is so it is in my power to take it up again. And this is the command I have been given by my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sheep. I'm sure most of us have seen the sheep. A sheep, maybe not live, but of course on TV as well. But very rarely we get to see sheep around. The countryside you can see sheep roaming. But often we see goats, huh? not sheep. <coughs> Why this analogy of the good shepherd and the sheep is given us? Dear sisters and brothers, there are few animals that are very calm, very peaceful, very docile, and they are very gentle and easily led. And amongst them, topmost of these animals is the sheep. The sheep, have you heard any sheep having nervous breakdown? No sheep having nervous breakdown. Only human beings we hear having a nervous breakdown. The sheep is, if you have experienced, when you drive along the countryside, sometimes when you horn, the sheep couldn't be bothered. You horn again, the fellow will not move. He will say, hey, jerk, keep quiet. La. He will just cool and walk, you know. And also the cows. If you see cows, they don't really get excited and run about. They will be just cool on the, st the street, on the road, you know. But imagine if it is a tiger. Or if it is even a cat or a dog, they will jump, hop, and take their flight off. This is the nature of some animals. And the sheep is basically defenseless. And it can't run fast. It has no sharp teeth like that of a, of a dog or of a lion or a tiger. It can't really kick like a giraffe. You know, the giraffe kicks its young ones. The young one jump, falls off the other's end to make sure the young one can survive. Not like an elephant. But the sheep is always comforted when somebody is around tending to them. The sheep is so assured, wow, I got someone to keep me from danger, from wild animals, from all that is not bringing me anything that is harmful. That is the nature of a sheep, of sheep. Now, the shepherd, will not let them go. They will know where to go when he tells them to go. And they are so sublime. They don't worry too much. As long as the shepherd is with them, everything is fine. Now, this same analogy is given to us and we are supposedly sheep. And so if you are the sheep, there is the shepherd. And the sheep is supposed to be sublime and you follow what the master is telling you, the good shepherd is telling you. 
dear sisters and brothers are you a sheep or are you a dog are you a tiger are you a lion what you are what are you ask my husband father ask my wife father ask my mother and father father you know we all have certain traits within us that can come out at certain times in our lives hey suddenly the flow is like that you know we take lessons from the sheep we must take lessons how to take lessons from the sheep it is so cool you know it is so cool you know <coughs> many years ago when i was in taiwan we were sitting in a square with another priest as we were sitting there suddenly we see that whole building we are sitting at a floor on the floor on the steps of the building outside the building having some snack and coffee and then suddenly we see we are feeling like the whole building is moving and after a while i'm asking the other priest hey you recognize something is happening and he said yeah la hey we are moving you know suddenly as if we are coming back to the same place we are moving <clears throat> and we were very cool about it we were very calm later on when we were in that institute where we were staying suddenly up in the building there the windows are all shuttering and all that uh, uh, cups and saucers are all falling off the table then we realized it is earthquake first time in my life i experienced earthquake don't ever dream of wanting to experience earthquake <clears throat> we were so cool until we realized it is an earthquake we were all so frantic and panicky you know and dear sisters and brothers what to expect what to experience from this sheep to stay calm to stay calm and the good shepherd is watching over you he is watching over you what are you fretting about what are you worrying about what are you anxious about what are you troubled about what are you angry about what are you troubled about what are you so anxious about every single day we are worried about so many things can your worries change the situation the status quo when you are in a state of calmness when you are state of in your state of peace nothing on the outside can disturb you see from the day you were born until now every single breath you take you must know and acknowledge it is coming from god and so he is your guiding force he is protecting you but often times we are so anxious so troubled you don't know what you are doing you don't have to get worked up my dear sisters and brothers you just have to relax and let him take charge the good shepherd will fight the battle for you provided you put him above all else before you but what do we put before us we put the voices of the world around us before us or within us and then we fret we get worried we get troubled we disturb others we disturb ourselves we are so restless why even the rich do the same the poor do the same even the educated do the same the uneducated do the same because we have not allowed him to lead us into greener pastures the pasture you are in is nice but is it a pasture where my state of peace is so reconciled so good and i'm enjoying it or where i am i am always disturbed and if i am disturbed then i have to be taken to greener pastures and he wants to do it the good shepherd wants to do it and so don't have any fear in you why are we fearing of so many things don't fear your god is with you he is the fighting the battle for you and before you he is covering you in his wings and so why are we troubled when you come to church and you return home you must be so vibrant you must be so consoled you must be so comforted that you must go back wow this day is so beautiful 
I am enjoying this day. There is nothing in this world that is going to trouble me because I have a good shepherd who is watching over me. But are we allowing the good shepherd to watch over us? Or are we allowing someone else to watch over us? Our job is to stay in that secret place, close to God, the place of peace, the place of trust. And the secret place is here, dear sisters and brothers. And the secret place is the place of peace. This same place can be so filled with turmoil. So filled with turmoil. You know, some of us are sitting there. Right now, right now, troubled. Can't wait to go back. There's so many things that are disturbing us. Why? Why? Why are you so troubled? And we have the beautiful, this Sunday is the Good Shepherd Sunday. And you celebrate Good Shepherd Sunday another day. A lot of things may happen on the outside. A lot of things may happen on the outside. Don't let all this on the outside to get on the inside. What is on the outside should not get on the inside. Be calm. Be composed. Be restful. The shepherd is watching over you, covered you with his wings. For any calamity, for any calamity to get at you, for any calamity to get at you, you must know it has to go through, it has to go through the master, it has to go through the good shepherd, it has to go through the power, the good, great, gracious power before it can attack you. But oftentimes we get attacked. Oftentimes we get so easily attacked because we have not put him as our shield. He is our good shepherd. And so why are we fretting about many things and fretting about any things? You see, the enemy has to, find, has to first deal with the shepherd before it comes to you. So noise on the outside must be quietened by your thoughts. Noise of the out, on the outside must be quietened by your thoughts. And your, your emotions must be stilled. Still your emotions Come back to the place of peace. And that powerful place of peace will direct your path. Just picture, imagine yourself as that sheep in the pasture where there is a beautiful, big, huge hands, hands watching over you and guiding you and you are not going to be troubled and disturbed because of his love. What is the difference between a lamb and a sheep? What is the difference? Between a lamb and a sheep. Lamb, what is the difference between a lamb and a sheep? A lamb is, from the moment it, was, it, is, it comes out, birth, in, within one year, it is called a lamb. After one year, the same lamb is called sheep. That one year, so tender, so gentle, so beautiful, and that is why we call the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God have mercy on us. Can you say, Tiger of God have mercy on us? Can you say, Elephant of God have mercy on us? Cannot. Because they don't give you that visual, that image of tenderness, of calmness, of peacefulness. Only the Lamb. And so, dear sisters and brothers, that Lamb led to the slaughterhouse. That lamb is both the victim and the priest. That victim is Jesus and the priest is Jesus. The victim is the lamb. The good shepherd is Jesus. The victim is the lamb, Jesus, and the good shepherd is Jesus. So how wonderful, dear sisters and brothers, that we have a very beautiful God who wants to cuddle you, who wants to embrace you. So don't worry too much. Don't worry too much. Any worries can take you anywhere? No. Surrender and let the Good Shepherd lead you. Let the Good Shepherd hold you. Let the Good Shepherd walk you through this life. And your life will be so amazing, so beautiful because He is comforting you every single day. Don't ever worry and fear. Be fearful. The fear of the evil one. And when you are in the church, you are so shielded. 
and take that shield that you have within you the good shepherd as you walk out of this place take him don't leave him behind and walk out without him very often many of us with a one hour i'm in the church who oh, sweet jesus afterwards forgotten jesus let him be with you all through god loves you god bless you